you want, Simon, here. This is a carry-on, the Black Widow, and another story. This one was probably the second week our first bar was open, just off Walking Street, Soy BJ. And it was mid-afternoon, I sort of lose track of memory of the time of the days, but there was a few of our girls there. Frozen was there, the cashier was there, the widow was working bar and five guys came in a little bit drunk unusual mid-afternoon for guys to come in drunk but they had the music on the pool table was all lit up they'd been walking down the lane shortcut through from sort of from marina disco coming through to walking street and they'd come in spotted us now four four of the guys the average build guys one was quite a bit, bit bigger were Australian and there was the one other guy apparently New Zealand I didn't think New Zealand and Australian got on but they were together but the, the New Zealand guy was vertically challenged he'd be perfect to ride horses as a jockey he was short but he was skinny they all had football shirts on football shorts um, and the usual trainers and they came in but they were they, they were sort of half drunk a little bit loud but this little guy really loud really had a big mouth he was trying to make up for his height maybe oh really loud they came in straight to the pool table ordered drinks and a couple of girls there were over there frozen was just sort of meandering around he started playing pool started drinking and uh, they were getting a little bit louder another drink then the girls sort of got involved a bit there was only a couple there but the little guy started putting his hands all over the girls oh you know you've seen it you've been in the bar the guys are all over the girls mishandling the girls inappropriately um, and he started um, he also pulled his shirt off the little guy what is it with guys on holiday why in a bar pulls a shirt off as if to say look at my fantastic body I'm the best I'm the ultimate I don't know why they do that but he the little one pulled his shirt off he's mishandling the girls now I'm sat the other side of the bar in the middle in the bar okay is the widow now I think she was on a gay week that week because the girl one of the girls he was mishandling I think she was seeing he mishandled this girl he was frozen started coming in and having a bit of a poke at him and telling him to calm it then one of the other guys rings the bell oh that's it they're all cheering and the girls then sort of oh, okay drink and I get a free drink okay attention was moved slightly to getting the drinks out all that and the little guy still uh, putting his hands all over this one girl and the widow I'm sure this was a temporary girlfriend was not happy the way she was banging the bottles around I, I could see she was getting upset and I thought, oh god and I thought no then this little guy, again, loud as anything, same as before. I'm brilliant, I'm the best, I'm fantastic. And the other boys, of course, they egg him on, don't they? And the girl, he's mishandling, starts pointing to the widow and saying to him, come on, room, two girl, two girl, room, room. I, I'm, I'm beginning to put my head in my hands here. I'm thinking, oh no, don't do it. And the little boy, he fell for it. Okay, so he said yes to the girl. I can't remember what her name was. She was only, she didn't last long. And widow. Now the widow was in a bad mood. Widow, girl, guy, off they go upstairs. And I'm oh, no, that's not gonna end good. The other four boys, frozen's in there, the other girl, Gina Mon shots start coming 
So I think Frozen bought them a shot and not let necked those shots back. Then they started ordering. Oh, and that's it. They're hammering them down. It was only about 15 minutes. The one girl comes back down. Not the widow, just the one girl. And the boys are like, hey, waiting for him to come through the archway. And he didn't come through. And they're like, ooh. Beer, off they go again. Order another beer. Another 10 minutes goes by. And I, I am getting worried at this point. I'm just like, something's not gonna end good here. The mood the spider was in. Uh, and sure enough, a few minutes later, down comes the spider, walks through the archway first, straight in behind the bar. Cashier starts getting his invoices banged up. Two girls, bar fine for both girls, gave the room free. Generous. And then he came through, remember, no shirt, got his football shorts on, his trainers, and he came through really slowly, sort of, he, was, he, he looked like he, he'd been run over by a train. And all the guys were jeering, yay, yay. And he, he tentatively, he stopped the big mouth. He tentatively, tentatively came next to me and got his wallet out. And the boys were like, hey. And they're like looking over what invoice. So two girls, two bar fines. So that's about 2,600 bar, 1,000 each for the girls, 300 bar fines each. And the couple of drinks that he'd had, and he's, he puts his hand up to the boys and just sort of waving at them. And he walks behind me, heading for the door. And they're like, whoa. And a couple of them come running over and start talking to him. And as I looked to the left towards the door, his back, remember his shirt's off, his back had looked like he'd been to the headmaster at school and been whipped. There were scratch marks all over his back, all the way up and down his back. Lines and lines, I mean loads of lines, and a few places there was blood drawn. The Black Widow, she'd scratched him to hell. You could see his pain, his embarrassment. She'd ripped him, and she was stood right in front of me behind the cashier as if nothing had happened and you, the other girl spotted the back so that back hadn't happened when the girl was the two of them were there this is after the girl had come out the widow had decided revenge scratched him to hell he obviously thought it was part of the uh, service but he was very quiet he paid his bill he's heading for the door the other boys like okay and then they're starting to pay their bill and he's, he was already walking out the door, head down, embarrassed. Didn't he, his shirt was still on the floor, I think, under the pool table. He forgot that. He went out topless. <laughs> You'd think he put the shirt on to cover it. No. Out he went, heading up the lane. The other boys pay the bar, run after him. And then Frozen and the girls, they're talking to the spider. And the spider just shrugs her shoulders like, psh, and the Black Widow. She just like, as if to say, that will teach him a lesson. Calm, collected, I don't care. Ripped his back to shreds. Revenge, because he touched, I think, his girlfriend, her girlfriend. So the little New Zealand lad, <laughs> shirt was under the pool table. I don't know what happened to that shirt, actually sure one of the girls would have had it. I don't know what football team it was, rugby, whatever. So he walked up and then walked down Walking Street, topless, with his back red raw. The Black Widow. That was just another thing. She likes blood. I should have called her the vampire. Oh, and that was three, four o'clock, five o'clock in the afternoon. You wouldn't want to get her in a bad mood <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, would you? There you go. So, Anne, the Black Widow, another story. <sighs> a 
there's more stories about her. I'm not going to say whether it gets worse or better, but there's more stories about her. Coming soon. <laughs> Ta-da.